everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a pregnancy update on weeks 24 and 25. i'm currently in my 26 weeks and last two weeks have had a couple things i wanted to bring to your attention due to my hormones that are going crazy with this baby girl so let's get into it the baby on week 24 was the size of an eggplant or an ear of corn and those are based on my Ovia app and Baby Center app, which I love to use. The first thing that appeared in my 24th week was this little baby right here. Can you tell the blemish that is on my left cheek? That baby was bigger, <laughs> and so I had to combat that. And luckily I had just done a VIB Sephora sale where I bought, purchased the Ferreo. So I bought the Ferreo and I love that in conjunction with the clear mud clean clear mud cleansing daily daily cleanser and the mud mask which i absolutely love as well so i've been using it both the mud mask i focus it only on my cheeks and my chin due to the hormones that the hormonal breakouts that are happening well with this one especially and the daily cleanser i use it daily and with the ferreo i wet it and i go over my entire face with the daily cleanser and i I'm just trying to combat the blemish and hormonal breakouts that I'm getting. Hopefully this is the one, but you never know, due to pregnancy. Now, usually, at least when I was younger, I've been getting, I was getting a lot of the hormonal breakouts on my chin. It's natural, it's just hormonal blemishes that appear. But this is the first that I've gotten one here on my upper cheek, um, cheekbone region. So I'm just blaming it on the baby that's inside my belly and that's okay because the baby's growing. That means that the baby's growing and it's trying to strip some of my beauty. That's what the old wives tale or what you people tell you is that the mother's beauty gets stripped from the baby if you're having a baby girl. Since I'm having a baby girl, this is the first I've seen of a blemish appear on my skin at week 24 due to I'm having a baby girl or simply due to I am have hormonal, you know, imbalance because I'm pregnant. Call it what you want, scientists or not, that's what's happening. Additionally, in week 24, I felt the baby kick for the first time. It actually felt like flutters, and that's what I have in my book listed as flutters. Now, flutters, you know, just floating around like this. <laughs> I would feel that sometimes. Or at times, it felt as when you are going into your eye doctor exam and they put you on this contraption where your chin lays and then they bring up the magnifying camera or magnifying glass, right? This big black camera like in front of your face and they poof a substance into your eyeballs to make your, to make your retinas become diluted. That's what it felt like. It felt like that sensation that you have at that, it, retina exam like a poof coming from inside my guts inside my belly to the outside of my belly it's the weirdest feeling that i've ever had with the first few kicks that this baby girl has done because a i've never been pregnant before so i've never had stuff in my stomach move around and of course with the exception of when you're hungry and your insides are telling you you're starving but that's not the same this felt like flutters or poofs inside your belly that's week 24. Week 25, I have finalized the baby shower invitations. They were all sent out to my friends and family that are invited to the baby shower, with the exception of a few that I have here on my couch. I'm looking at, it, at them right now because I've been wanting to meet up with them is the first thing, or B, I forgot to give it to them when I saw them last, or C, they know that they're invited. All these people know that they're invited. It's just a matter of seeing them to give them their invitation. So besides that, everyone else should have received their invitation or will be receiving them next week. You know, good old Canada Post. Then as well, due to my back problem, so that's the one thing that another issue I've been having from pregnancy is I've developed a back ache just underneath my shoulder blade down to my spine in this diagonal motion. So my right shoulder blade down to my spine Cause it makes in my back and so the doctor recommended I either get chiropractor doctor 
uh, do their mag magic or get a prenatal massage, take some baths with Epsom salts and lavender is okay. Obviously not the oil directly into the bathtub, but you know, it's like some lavender bath bombs would be okay. So obviously ask for some flexibility at work, which I've done. So I've been able to work a couple days from home. My back's just been hurting me, but the massages are definitely helping a lot. I actually wanna see her every single week, but I cannot. The masseuse told me that it's not good for a pregnant lady to have a pregnant massage, a prenatal massage every single week due to the pressure points that could be touched. Obviously, she knows when you're coming to a prenatal massage what joints you should not be touching because those specific joints may cause you to go into labor. Not instantly, but a couple hours later. So if some of you ladies out there need to get that baby out because it's time or because it's past the time, never do this early, go get yourself a prenatal massage, tell them to focus on the pressure points in your ankles, is what I was told, where the masseuse can really focus on there and try to induce the baby naturally to come out in a couple hours after your massage as well as a pedicure that's what I've been reading as well again with the feet and the ankles right if they touch some pressure points when you're getting a pedicure then your baby could naturally come a couple hours later I've read that I've read that online as well what would be nice about a pedicure before you go into labor is your toes are gonna look awesome in the delivery room so I might as well put that as a note for myself if the time comes and if it's needed. Did I mention that this baby is the size of a Napa cabbage and a rutabaga? As per my apps, the, uh, the lengthwise of a Napa cabbage and the weight of a rutabaga. It's what it says for week 25. Now I wanna show you a couple things that I've used for week 25, additionally from week 24. So the Foreo I'm still using every single day. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that I don't have to change the brush head on the frail yeah it's gonna save me money in the long run you know you pay for something up front but it's definitely gonna save you money in the long run in comparison to, to the clarisonic which is very popular you need to buy brush heads every six months and each brush head is is what could range from forty dollars to almost ninety dollars that's way too much money to be spending on a replacement i'd rather just buy one product Spend the money once and that's it. Why aren't you focusing? I wanna show you a couple of things I've been using as my pregnancy must-haves for, I would say since I actually got them. And I'll tell you when I got each item. The first one is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil. I got this in the Sephora VIB sale. Perfect. So I love it. It is a twist. And it's definitely whipped. Mmm, it just smells so good. I know it says whipped argan oil, ultra hydrating body butter. So I put this all over my body with the exception of my belly because I have something else for that. But it doesn't smell like argan oil. It just smells like delicious. It leaves your skin feeling so soft. Oh, vanilla apricot. That's the kind I got there. It just smells so good. So I think this one is my favorite, the vanilla apricot. Put all over my body except for my belly. Now this is what I've been using for my belly. It's the Eco Chic Movement Belly Butter. I've been using this since I went to the baby show when I mentioned it last. When did I go to the baby show? Was it in September, October? Yeah, I went with a friend who's also pregnant and she got it. She actually purchased it first and as she's purchasing and paying the person, I decided to buy one. It's got no paraben, philophates or sulfates, nuts, soy, or wheat, synthetic preservatives, or it does not do any animal testing. I love this. This company is actually located in Ottawa, and it's made in Canada, it says here. And essentially it's to use, apply to liberally to belly, breasts, and hips for external use only. And you can tell I've been using it because I've hit pan a long time ago. <laughs> So I might have to get some more. What we're using this for is to avoid stretch marks and to put moisture to the belly and to combat the itchiness. Now I've had mild itchiness on the upper regions near the diaphragm or just below the diaphragm, but I haven't had 
any major itchiness, which is awesome because my belly is stretching. I mean, I'll show you the bump. It's grown, especially today. I'm wearing white and people have already mentioned or come up to me and said, oh my goodness, you are pregnant. And today I can tell. Yes, today you can tell because A, I'm wearing white and B, I've just, the belly has grown. So I love this cream. I put this on every single day and night. I try to wear it twice a day along with the Rada Rose Hip Oil, 100% pure and natural rose hip oil, certified organic. I bought this on Amazon and this, the reviews on this were specifically to combat any stretch marks. I'm just trying to avoid stretch marks. Stretch, bleh. I am trying to avoid stretch marks when using this rose hip oil and I have been using this since I bought that Amazon package. How long ago did we get that Amazon package? It says here it's stem distilled, bottled in the USA. And the company location is Northvale, New Jersey. Rada rose hip oil contains essential fatty acids which help rejuvenate the skin and protect from premature aging. Use to naturally tone the skin, reduce wrinkles, heal scarring, and improve the skin's moisture levels. Apply two to three drops to your fingers and gently massage into your face, neck, and body. I use this only on the belly. That's it, because I'm just trying to avoid stretch marks on the belly. There's it. Three of the pregnancy must-haves for my body, my overall body that I've been using, along with the Pharrell, which I mentioned, and I'm living it up this pregnancy. It's my first. There's a lot to learn. I'm still learning a lot about how my body moves and where it aches and where I'm able to get up the couch one way, but I'm not able to get up the couch another way, where I have the strength to get up the couch one way holding a laptop, which is bizarre, yet when I don't have the laptop in my hands, I'm able to not get up that certain way. It's very confusing to me. Sometimes I have the willpower, other times I don't, obviously. Christmas tree in the background, as you can tell. Still loving the holidays. I think my next video, I'll be telling you about some more baby essential items or mommy essential items if you wish to know about what I've been loving throughout the entire pregnancy because these items I mentioned, I recently bought them from the Sephora VIB sale or from going to a baby show, you know, my local shows that are coming to this city. I have not had them long enough as opposed to other things that I've been loving and enjoying throughout the pregnancy. And it really helped me in this pregnancy because it's my first and I need to learn, well, I am learning a lot. Okay, I'm gonna show you my bump now. Here's my belly against the Christmas tree. The string is the mic. I got a new mic for Christmas. And this is the front. Yep, she looks huge, doesn't she? She's just growing. You don't look huge, honey, I'm sorry. She can listen to me now. That's what my app says, that she can hear every single thing that's going around her. Oh, can you see the bump now? Yeah, here. I like to put it against the Christmas tree because I like Christmas. Okay, there she is. That's my baby girl. All right, that's my baby girl. And I'm gonna say bye now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified for when I upload more videos. Thank you for coming on this journey with me to all the mamas out there that are pregnant alongside of me or are watching this video later because it's on the internet and you're pregnant now. All the blessings to you and your child. May you have a healthy pregnancy and bring that baby to full term or at least to a healthy weight where it will be born amongst us. I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.